Hello, this is a quick video to show you how to um, import a test from ExamView into Blackboard. All right, so the first thing you want to be aware of is if you're working with question banks, it's going to be a little different process than if you're working from an existing test, a, a test format in ExamView or a bank format in ExamView. So just be aware of that. So let's just start by um, using a test bank. That will translate to a, a test pool in Blackboard. Okay, so I'm just going to open any old test bank here. And so say this looks perfect, this is just what I want. So I'm going to then um, export this in a format um, that will be recognizable by Blackboard. So if I click the File menu, choose Export, then I'll choose Blackboard 7, 1 to 9. We have Blackboard 9.1. And then I'll put it in a folder. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Now, folder called Blackboard um, Test Banks. All right, so, and I'm just going to name that here. This is chapter one. Click save. It'll ask me the name again, so I'm just giving it the same name. And even though I don't have images in this test, it still wants me to name an image folder where it could store images, so I just call it images. Just click OK. And it's, it's reformatting this for Blackboard behind the scenes. So now if I go, black, go into Blackboard, and I'm going to go to Course Tools, and test surveys and polls. And because I worked with a test bank at ExamView, I'm going to import that file into the pools area. All right, and so I click import pool. All right, and then I'll click browse my computer, go to my desktop, look for that test bank folder I made, and here's my zip file. Okay, click open, and then click submit. Notice it's chapter space one because there was a chapter one with no space already in here. All right, so here's the one that I just submitted just now with 35 questions. All right, so now that I have this pool in here, I can create a test from that pool. We'll go through that quickly. Create a test, build a test because I'm creating one from scratch. Chapter 1, and you can provide description and instructions. Um, you can always edit that later as well. I click Submit, and it brings me to the test canvas where I can create or add questions. Since I'm pulling questions from a pool, I'm going to go to Reuse Questions, Find Questions, and then I just choose that pool that I just created. Okay, Remember, there were 35 questions, and it's telling me I have Here's page 1 to 25 of 35 in all. So I'm just going to select them all. All right, so that selects the 25 on the first page. So then I have to click this arrow to go to the next page. And again, I'll just choose them all again. So now I have a total of 35 questions. Click Submit. And it pops all those questions into this test. All right, so once that's complete, I can just kind of scroll through quickly, make sure everything looks as it should. No formatting issues. And then at the bottom of the page, click OK. So this test is completed, but it's still behind the scenes. Notice it's not deployed. Okay, means That means that students don't have a way to access it yet. So I'll go to the assessments area of the test, and I'll deploy the test, which just means to mouse over assessment, choose test, and any tests that I've created that have not been deployed will show up in this list. Here's the one I want. Click Submit. And then this next page that we see are the options about how the students will take the test. All right, so it includes do you want to force completion, do you want to set the timer, do you only want this link available to the test you know, within a certain time period, do you have any students that need extra time or uh, different dates of availability? Do you want to impose, impose a due date, which will then show up on the course calendar? Um, and what kind of feedback do you want students to see after they finish? Do you want it to be displayed all at once, which we, re we recommend? Um, and do you want to randomize questions? Okay, so you can choose those options. All right, so those are the three steps to creating a test 
in Blackboard from a test pool in ExamView. All right, I'll make another quick video showing you how to um, do the same process, only working with a test file, a test file as opposed to a pool, a bank file in ExamView. All right, thank you.